The Seminoles take care of business. 98-81 against UNF. Lane Hurt here with MJ Walker. MJ, you guys get you know the week off, finals week, maybe not practicing as much. Is this always a, a challenging game, the first one after finals? You kind of kind of pick things back up and, and get back in the flow? Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a challenge for everyone across the country. You know, it's, it's hard to get back in rhythm. You know, a lot of people, you know, have finals, you know, a lot of time being put into study and things like that. But uh, we just found a way, you know, to balance that and, you know, continue to, uh, you know, stay locked in, you know, on and off the court. So, um, you know, we fought through it tonight and we're looking forward to this game. How important was that run at the beginning of the second half to kind of push things out and kind of build that lead? Um, it's kind of one of the things we've been struggling with uh, the past couple of years, you know, just trying to start out strong, you know, the second half. And, um, tonight was a, a step in the right direction, you know, doing that definitely gave us a boost and uh, that energy transferred, you know, into the second group and uh, for the rest of the game. So. Dom and Balsa combined for 26 points down low. Balsa career high 15. How have you really seen him progress from starting the season averaging a foul a minute to where he is now and getting a career high of 15 points in, in only 14 minutes? Yeah, yeah. I try, I try my best, you know, in practice and in the game, just continuing to talk to him. Um, and I'm just proud of him, you know what I'm saying, as far as as, long, as far as they came, you know what I'm saying, just from where they were and, you know, just learning the system. You know, it's a lot, you know, for the system that we have. So um, I'm just proud of them, you know, just continuing to stay on them, uh, keeping them accountable, you know, so they keep us accountable and they're going to continue to grow and um, be the uh, players that they're supposed to be. So. UNF knocked down 13 threes, but only four in the second half. Mm -hmm. Florida State basketball has always featured depth. Do you guys have confidence that you can wear those teams down to where their, their legs are, yeah. are dying out a little bit in, in, this, in the second half? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we do a good job with, uh, you know, wearing uh, teams down uh, with our depth, especially. Um, but, you know, I think we got to still do a better job with uh, just locking in on the scouting reports, not waiting until the second half, you know, to uh, kick it on. But uh, I think, you know, just continuing, you know, Coach does a good job with playing us and having trust in our depth and things like that. And um, we, we continue to be successful doing that. Christmas fast approaching. What's one of your favorite holiday memories of, uh, with your family? Uh, I mean, Christmas, we usually uh, wake up in the morning early, probably like 8 o'clock. Can't wait to open the presents. Everybody got a onesie on. Last year, I wore a panda onesie, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So uh, just wake up early in the morning, we'll uh, pray, you know what I'm saying, open the presents, go to grandma's house later on in the evening, have a good dinner. So Perfect. Knowles hit the road. They head down to Miami for the Orange Bowl Classic this weekend against South Florida. And then it's almost time for ACC play to ramp up again. One more non-conference game after that. But the Knowles looking to finish non-conference season strong. For MJ, I'm Lane. Go Knowles.